Welcome to Kiss Naturals. Today I'm going to show you how to make our SLS free soap from our DIY glycerin soap kit here in the colors of the rainbow. So let's get started. So first we're going to separate one cube of our soap. We're going to add it to our little container and now we're going to choose a color. So we have these little color blocks here in fun little shapes and what you want to do is add about one third of one of the color blocks to your soap here. So let's start, let's start with blue. So you just want to add that in there. Now I'm going to stick this in the microwave for 10 seconds at a time until this is melted and I will mix the coloring with the soap together. Be careful not to let it boil over, really only five to 10 seconds at a time. So now we're mixing everything together. So for just a plain blue soap, we're going to go ahead and fill two cavities here. So we'll pour this into the, let's do the heart of the star. And let's do a blue rose, why not? You can make the standard colors exactly the way I just did. If you would like to mix the colors to make, let's say, more of an orange color, then I'm gonna show you how to do that. So now we have sort of like a, a rose gold color. And you can continue on making all of the primary colors and all of the mixtures by mixing the pink and the blue for purple, the blue and the gold for sort of a golden green color, and then we'll make the gold and the pink separately, and you'll see the colors of the rainbow when we're done. I'm gonna show you guys how to make these double color swirled galaxy soaps. They're so easy and so fun, so let's get going. So we're gonna start with two colors here today. So we take one cube of soap, this is SLS free glycerin soap, pop them in there. And now we're going to add separate colors. So I think today I wanna to start with a pink and yellow galaxy soap. So I'm gonna take my pink color block here and I'm just gonna remove a little chunk. We're gonna melt these down 10 seconds at a time, not more in the microwave. You don't want these to boil, you don't want these to get too hot. So now we're just gonna carefully mix our colors together. You can see that the color blocks melt right into that glycerin. Now we are going to pour them into our molds. See how you get different colors there? Another technique is to pour one color in first and add a second one in there. Swirl that around. That's gonna give you a slightly different effect. Same with this one. I'll pour the pink in first. Add the yellow on top of there. I wanna show you how to make simple to more advanced layered soaps, like this guy, two layers, or this guy, four layers. The technique is the same, so let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is start with two colors. So separate one cube each, plop them into the little measuring cups, and we're gonna go ahead and choose colors for these guys. I'm gonna use pink and the gold. So here we go, oops, pink and gold. And just like in our other tutorials, you wanna melt these very carefully, no more than 10 seconds at a time until fully melted. Then we'll move on to our next step. This would be the time to add fragrances. I was going to use two colors. I'm gonna actually show you how to put three colors together for this. I'm gonna start with yellow then I'm gonna add um, sort of a rose gold, and then I'm gonna finish with a pink. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour a really thin layer of the gold in the bottom of each of the molds, and I don't want them to be much more than about a millimeter or so deep. So once this is all mixed, I'm basically gonna use about half of this mixture to do this step.
Now, to create sort of the, the next color, I'm gonna add a little bit of my melted pink into the yellow, just enough to make it sort of a rose gold. So once this has cooled down, I say I'll give it another minute here. Then I'm going to do the exact same method. I'm going to put about a millimeter of a layer on here of this color. Once that has cooled down, I'm going to finalize that with a pink. So you may have to wait for this to cool down and heat these up separately one layer at a time in order to, to complete this. I'm gonna show you how we make our hidden treasure soap using our DIY glycerin soap kit. To get started, I've chosen two little trinkets that I had at home. So we're gonna start by melting one cube of the glycerin soap in here for 10 seconds at a time, not more, you don't want it to get too hot. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a little layer of soap in two of the cavities here. I'm gonna go for the heart cavity right here and the bear. That's about all I want to leave on here. If you have, you can see that there are some bubbles right here. They should go away for the most part. If they don't and you really want to get rid of them, you can spray a little bit of alcohol or put a couple of drops of alcohol that will get rid of those bubbles. So now we're going to let this cool for a few minutes before we add our trinkets. So now that this has had a chance to sort of cool down, I am going to place my little trinkets face first into the top. I'll give it just like a gentle wiggle kind of secure it in there. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and seal these guys in with the rest of my melted soap base. I'm just gonna let that cool for 15 minutes and then we'll unmold them. So there you have it, hidden treasure soaps. They're easy, they're fun, and you can make them with our DIY glycerin soap kit. If you like this tutorial and you'd like to see more, visit kissnaturals.com or click on the subscribe button. Till next time.